Hey guys, welcome to What If Smash, where I talk about my personal ideas for characters or other things in the new Super Smash Bros. Not the one in the 3DS or the Wii U, but the one that could come afterwards. Now, usually in What If Smash, I talk about characters that no one really talks about. And, well, this is kind of like that. I mean, a lot of people say they wanted this character, but at the same time, they don't really go into detail of how they want to see him. And yes, that is Toad from the Mario franchise. Now, you wouldn't expect to see him in games like Brawl or um, Melee or the original Smash Brothers because he was just there, and at that point in time, he wasn't really a playable character or really a wanted character for Smash Brothers. That is until the Wii U and 3DS version came out. At that point in time, Toad was already playable in the new Super Mario Brothers franchise, Mario Kart, Mario Party, many other Mario spin-offs, and is announced to be one of the main characters in Super Mario 3D World. And now he's getting his own game. Many thought he was going to be in Super Smash Bros. Wii U 3DS, until Peach had to kill the possibility, bitch. But I'm going to talk about what if Toad was his own character in Super Smash Bros. But when I was thinking for ideas for this move set, I was thinking most of the Mario characters in the Smash Bros. series, well, their move sets are more based on the platforming games, with the exception of Dr. Mario, who still had moves based on platforming. I wanted a character based on not the platforming, but the carding, partying, and the other spin-offs, rather than the platforming, just to, you know, have more representation for the other Mario titles. And that's where I got the idea of most of Toad's moves, with of course a few exceptions. Alright then, let's start it off with the special moves, which I'll always start with. First, a neutral special. I really wanted something from Mario Party, but I didn't know if it was going to actually be based on a certain mini-game. But I didn't want something vague. I wanted something blatantly obvious. I wanted a move that, like, when people used it, they'd point it out and be like, Eh! It's a Mario Party! So I thought of the dice from Mario Party. Something that's nearly, well, basically is in every Mario Party game. Now, how would this kind of attack, well, be used? Well, it could be kind of like... Mr. Game Watch's side special, where it could go from, instead of 0 to 9, from 1 to 9. It would be kind of like a projectile, but it only go, like, directly in front of Toad. And it'll, uh, stop spinning around when it hits the ground, or when it hits a character. And it could either go from 1, which will make characters not flinch, but still take a little bit of damage, and 9, which will have the most knockback and give you a lot of damage. I had an idea for a customizable move where Toad will use three die instead of just one, and it will go to a certain radius around Toad. I mean, not too far away, and they'd be less than nine because I don't want people spamming the move, but I think it'd be a great customization move mainly because there was a point in the Mario Party franchise where you could use three dies at once. Now for the side special. This instantly came into my head when I thought of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, that new spin-off game based on Super Mario 3D World that's coming out later this year. I thought of, like, uh, Kirby's new side special, where it's still the hammer, but, uh, you can also charge it and move around while you're charging it. I was thinking, like, what if he could use the pickaxe and just charge it, walk around when he's done charging it? It could be, like, the hammer from Donkey Kong, or the hammer, the golden hammer from Wrecking Crew, which are both items in Smash Brothers. Or he could land multiple hits. If you don't charge it at all, it could be a single strike. But the longer you charge it, the more damage you'll give, and the more uh, strikes you'll use. I was also thinking, what if you were in the air and used this attack? It could be kind of like uh, how you have the Wrecking Crew hammer, and you press, I believe, the attack button while in the air, and you slowly walk in the air, which I think is just goddamn hilarious. But uh, it could be kind of like a recovery as well. Down special. I really wanted something from Mario Kart, but I didn't want it to be something that's already an item in Smash Brothers. I mean, the green, red, uh, blue shells, uh, banana peel, lightning, and a few other items in the Mario Kart franchise are already items in Smash Brothers as well. So it was kind of difficult to think of an idea for a move that's unique, but also represents Mario Kart. But then I thought the newest item in Mario Kart 8, the Mega Horn. When used, it'll have a decent radius, but characters would not but if characters were in the radius, they would not take any knockback. That would take a good amount of damage. The only time they would take a lot of knockback is when they're in physical contact with Toad. And no, I don't mean like a counter. I mean like their models are touching. Naughty naughty. Also, if a character is using a shield, even inside the radius without touching Toad, the shield would instantly break when affected by the Megahorn. Up special? I said there'd be a few exceptions with moves based on platforming, and this is one of those exceptions. The up special, the propeller suit. 
Now, I don't really need to go into detail with this. He would just go straight up and slowly descend. And the only time he'd stop descending it is if he attacks, where he'd go into a helpless fall, or a character attacks him, where he'd be able to use it again. Like most helpless falls. Now, let's go into the smash attacks. Usually, when I go for smash attacks, I want something just as unique, because I feel like the smash attacks are going to be used just as much as the special moves. If not, more. So, I wanted something unique when it comes to these attacks. For the side smash, I thought of the cat suit for Super Mario 3D World. But not the actual cat suit, but that flipping move you can perform with the cat suit. Just, you know, totally be performing it without the cat suit. That'd be a flip and uh, a single attack after the flip. Down smash. I know I said and I didn't want attacks based on other items in Smash Brothers, but I got the three red and green shells from Mario Kart, how they surround you before you even use the items, but after you get them. The only reason I'm doing this is because you don't get three uh, green or red shells in the Smash Bros. series at once. You use only one at a time. And I was always thinking how you could use uh, the green or red shells that are three of one as a shield while, sur while uh, they're surrounding you. Up smash. This one's a little vague and it's going to need a little bit of an explanation. In Super Mario Bros. 2, the United States version, or Doki Doki Panic in Japan, uh, there was a move that every character could use where they're crouching, they glow, and when, they're, when they jump, they jump even higher in the air. What if this was his up smash? And it wouldn't charge in power, but it would charge in height. The longer you charge it, the farther you go up into the air. And the final smash? I know this is a little, uh, a generic, but I feel like it would work the best, mainly because uh, not many characters have done this before. And that would be the Mega Musher. And all Toad would have to do to give characters damage would be just by simply touching them. Or jumping on them. The only issue would be is that um, maybe you wouldn't be able to double jump with this or attack on your own. But all you have to do is just run into the characters. And you'd be golden. Now I got everything uh, basic out of the way. Now it's time to go over other things I'd like to see with Toad as well. First let me go over costumes. I think this is the last thing I'm going to go over because um, I want you guys to also give ideas of what you'd like to see Toad do as well. Like for taunts, basic attacks, and maybe your ideas for specials and smashes and even the final smash. For costumes, I thought of five main colors that Toad could use. Blue would be his default since I wanted a separation from Toad's, uh, from Princess Peach's uh, neutral special and a playable Toad. And usually in the Super Mario franchise, the blue Toad is usually the one that's playable the most, including the one from Super Mario 3D World where the yellow one was not present. A second color you could choose would be the yellow Toad, who was introduced in Super Mario Sunshine, but also was the second player, it, or should I say fourth, from New Super Mario Bros. Wii and New Super Mario Bros. U. The others I see would be green, pink, and red. Now you're probably thinking, you picked these colors out at random, didn't you? Nope. In Super Mario Sunshine, you saw a group of blue, yellow, green, pink, and red toads, and these groups would be reintroduced throughout the series, and they wouldn't really give a purpose to the story, they'd just be the five toads always together. Another costume would be Captain Toad, and he'd be basically like the red toad, but with all that gear on him. You wouldn't really have to change his voice, just change the announcer from saying Toad to Captain Toad. And, yeah, the side special would definitely work for him. Other costumes would be Toadette, since, uh, many characters... Uh, in this Super Smash Brothers, being the 3DS and the Wii U version, I like to have gender bent costumes like Wii Fit Trainer, uh, Villager, Robin. So I don't think it'd be of that difficult to have another gender bent costume. All you do is just change the voice and once again change the announcer uh, from saying Toad to saying Toadette. I mean, I like what the Super Smash Brothers is doing. Sometimes you can play as other characters without them taking up slots, like the other Koopalings or. Um, Alf from Pikmin 3, they're just alternate costumes, but the announcer will still say their name, and sometimes they will get voice changes, just so, um, they won't have to take up their own slot, but you can still technically play as the characters you want. And the last costume, since, uh, they changed the amount of costumes you can have from 6 to 8, I decided the last one to be Toadsworth. Just once again, change the voice and the announcer from saying Toad to Toadsworth, and remove his cane. I mean, they're all Toads, and I think we need to, need to have as many, uh, ideas as possible. I think with the idea of playing other characters just as other costumes is actually quite unique. And I think and I feel like we should do that more. Well that's all I can really think of for Toad. If you have any other ideas, put them in the comments section. I hope you enjoyed the very first What If Smash. I'm sorry if it was very vague in this video. I plan to make things even better later on. And don't expect these to happen too much. Remember the like, maybe favorite, subscribe if you want to see some more. 
because I make videos almost every day. And remember, we all see fish in the ceiling at least once in our lives. Don't you think others deserve to know the true meaning of fear? Well, now that you're here, I can make you my pawn of nightmares. <laughs>